really, they're only biting for one of two reasons. Because they think they have to, and because they think they can. And ultimately, I believe that the vast majority of dogs who are reactive or aggressive are only biting because they think they have to. For example, uh, a dog lunges and bites somebody because they are insecure, trying to communicate with the person that they're insecure, they're growling, they're avoiding the situation, their hair is standing up on their back, the person doesn't back off and they feel like, I have no other option, I can't run away right now. That's obviously what we call fear aggression. The vast majority of aggression that I see on a day-to-day -day basis, and I work almost exclusively with aggressive dogs, is based in fear. Having said that, there are also some dogs that are just biting because either they think it's fun or they have really strong genetics or there's personal issues going on. There's obviously different reasons and predatory aggression can also be lumped into that. But the vast majority of the time, it's just because the dogs are fearful. So what we need to do is we need to figure out why. Is it because they think they have to or because they think they can? And if it's because they think they have to, we have to get a paradigm shift. We have to get the dog's motivations to align with our motivations. So ultimately, the more that their motivations align with ours, the more focus they're going to be on us. And that way we can give them more information to make better choices. The more choices we get them to make, the better they're going to do in life. So let's look at a quick little situation. Let's say there's a dog and he's eating a bowl of food and another dog comes around him. There's 3,000 pieces of kibble in there and he gets into a squabble over that food. Now, if you were to take that food and throw it out in the backyard and have those same dogs walking around in the backyard finding that food in the grass, the likelihood of those dogs fighting would be almost zero. So having said that, why would a dog fight over one piece of kibble when there's 2,999 other pieces of kibble? I'm not saying that there's no place for correction or punishment and training. Trust me, there is a time and a place, but what I would say is the vast majority of the time, what we need to do is figure out a way to get our dogs to start focusing on us to make better choices. And ultimately, the vast majority of the time, the aggression and the biting doesn't have to be figured out. It doesn't have to be us trying to figure out, okay, my dog is about to bite somebody. What do I do in this situation? That's not being proactive. We have to be a lot more proactive to give the dog better choices. And ultimately, our dog is going to be a lot more confident. We're going to be a lot more confident. We're going to have a better relationship with our dog.